In today's video, can you crash diet successfully? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a crash dieting strategy that comes from my Instagram direct message. And uh, if you like this type of information around an evidence-based approach to losing body fat, adding muscle, having and keeping the physique of your dreams, hit subscribe, it's what I love to do here. And I'd also like to give a shout out to my man, Colin DeWay. So Colin sent me his video today that he put out on YouTube and I have to say, fantastic job, Colin. It talks about the dangers of clean eating. Um, from a from a couple different perspectives. So I'm gonna link his video below. I'd love for you guys to go there, check out the video, tell me what you think of it, because I've seen Colin over the years and his YouTube channel is just getting better and better. So for today's video, let me read the question and then we'll get started. I have a question about crash dieting. So if I were to crash diet for 10 days at let's say 1,000 calories, my maintenance being 2,500, would I still be able to lose weight if I eat at let's say 19 to 1,800 calories again? Basically, after the 10 days of eating 1,000 calories, can I still lose weight for the next couple of months at a higher intake, but still technically in a deficit? So this question is something that I get quite frequently and it's basically about the idea of our metabolism. How quickly does it adapt? In 10 days, can you crash a metabolic rate so badly that you cannot even lose weight on what should be a five or 600 calorie deficit? And the answer to that question in my mind is no. I don't think that we are adapting that quickly. In fact, I think our metabolisms really only adapt after probably months of, of effort. Now, what you'll often see is people who have been through many diet cycles, it seems like their metabolisms adapt very quickly. And I've seen this as well in competitors, but what I actually feel is happening here is our body remembers. And again, I don't have like research to back this up. I just have years of data. If I have someone that comes to me that's never dieted before, and I can even tell you my story of my first prep with my first coach, weight loss is simple. People that have never attempted or restricted calories an attempt to lose weight, they lose weight easily. In fact, it's almost too easy. To the point where the next time they try to lose weight, they wonder what all the fuss is about until they realize that they've caused some changes. But most people that enter a weight loss phase for the first time, they don't do it for 10 days. They don't do it for a month. They do it for months until they reach their goal. And then once they reach their goal, oftentimes they'll, they'll put on a bunch of body fat quickly and try to diet again. And it seems like the metabolism adapted quickly, but they did not have time to restore it. So if you go on a thousand calorie diet for 10 days, you're gonna see some dramatic changes of course. And then if you go on an 18 or 1900 calorie deficit, if 2500 calories is in fact your maintenance, I would still expect you to lose weight, but at let's say 1% of your body weight per week, so let's say a pound to two pounds per week versus if you go on a very extreme diet like a thousand calories, obviously you're gonna be restricting carbohydrates and fats quite a bit if you keep your protein up. So you're probably gonna lose a little bit of muscle glycogen, hence fluid in your muscles. So there's gonna be a little water weight. And once you add those carbs back in, you'll add that back in. But I would expect you to lose quite a bit of body fat in 10 days. In fact, I did a video a while back called Rapid Fat Loss Protocol, which was a study that they did at the University of South Florida. One of my coaches and clients, Kate Callahan, actually did it. And uh, we talked about her results and they were pretty dramatic. Um, so there is and possibly could be more research on this in the future. Short rapid fat loss periods followed by a recover period. That may be a very good strategy. You know, these are things that we're looking at um, as, as coaches and trying to learn the best approach for every single person. Now, <clears throat> obviously, if you're willing to do this, a thousand calories for 10 days, you gotta have a reason. You gotta have a purpose. And that's what I would encourage the, the, the first thing to be. Now, for some of us, it's making weight for something. For some of us, it's, you know, hey, 10 days, I'm going on vacation. Can I really strip off some body fat? Hey. If that's what it takes to get you excited about your goals, I'm all for it, as long as you're doing it intelligently. But as far as the metabolism, I think it takes months and months and months of restriction for it to adapt. And I also think it takes months and months and months to restore it. In fact, the thing I tell my clients that have been through a dieting phase, when they say, how long should I spend coming out of that? I say, amount of time equal to the time you were dieting. That's right. So if you diet for six months to get on stage, you need to spend at least six months restoring your metabolism before you even think about getting back on another diet. 
Alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. Go check out Colin's video, link below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.